guys, today I'm going to show you the flight modes that are used by quadcopter pilots. So here we have Beta Flight Configurator, and up at the top we have the Arm Mode, Air Mode, Angle Mode, and Horizon Mode. Okay, Arm Mode is used to just simply turn on your flight controller. Now, as soon as you turn it on, you're going to by default be in the fully acrobatic mode, sometimes referred to as rate mode or manual mode. Okay, so just think of the arm mode as just a switch to simply turn on and off the flight controller, which of course will turn off the motors if in case you need to turn off the motors in emergency, or you're going to turn it on when you're getting ready to fly the drone. Okay, but it does by default start out in fully acrobatic mode. So for beginners, you don't want to start off flying this way. Okay, as a beginner, you're going to want to start off with the angle mode. Angle mode has a self-leveling feature. Okay, so it prevents the drone from tilting beyond a 45, 50 degree tilt. And so obviously that's going to prevent you from doing any kind of flips or loops. But as a beginner, you want that and you certainly want to have the self-leveling feature so that as soon as you let go of the sticks, the drone's going to become level. Okay. Horizon mode also has a self-leveling feature, but it does not limit the angle that you could tilt the drone. So you could go past the 45, 50 degree mark. You could do flips, you could do loops, whatever. Okay. It's fully acrobatic with the exception that it also has the self-leveling feature. Okay. So to start out with, you'd want to use angle. And then after that, you'd want to start using Horizon. There is the fourth mode called Air Mode. And Air Mode is unique in that you can use that mode in conjunction with any of the other modes. So the fully acrobatic mode when you're just set in arm, the angle mode, and the horizon mode. Air Mode is great in that it gives you full control over the drone when you shut off the power to the motors. So it doesn't just drop out of the sky, the motors will still keep running. Now one important thing is that when you start to land, the motors are still gonna be spooling even though you've turned off the throttle completely, okay? So here's a detailed description about air mode because it's the most complicated of all the other modes that you have for your drone. So in air mode, your quad will be controllable during zero throttle flight. So you'll get nice zero throttle glides and tighter cornering. This is all achieved by allowing full PID correction during zero throttle. All this works great when you're in the air, but like I mentioned before, there's some consequences when you're on the ground as the motors will spool up. So it's recommended that you are not in air mode for takeoffs and also before you land. Of course, air mode can be turned on and off at any time, just like the other modes, and operate in conjunction, like I said earlier, with any of the other three modes. Okay? So that's it. Now, I wanted to show you how I have my flight mode set up. Okay, I'm a beginner, so what I have here is first this switch right here in the back, which I use to arm and disarm my drone. So when I'm getting ready to fly, I want to have all my switch positions set backwards. I like to do that just so I know that everything is off before I start flying. Okay, and the back switch here is what I have set to control my arm mode. So when I flick the switch, you'll see here, arm mode is selected. Now as a beginner, I also have angle mode set up. Okay, it's controlled by my other switch right here. Now, it's already in the back position, so when I arm, I know I'm already in angle mode. If I didn't have angle mode on, it'd be in fully acrobatic mode, which isn't what I want, because again, I'm just a beginner. All right, so the next position for the switch is air mode and angle mode, okay? So then with air mode, I'm gonna have authority over the drone when I turn off throttle, okay? And then the last mode, is where I have air mode and horizon mode. So now I'm gonna be able to do flips and loops and so on like that. 
Now the reason why I have these set in a three position switch is when I'm in angle mode or I put the switch all the way down for this switch here, I'm not going to be in air mode. And that's important for me because when I come in to land or when I first arm the drone, the motors aren't going to be spinning up. Okay, so that's it. Hopefully that'll be helpful for you guys. What I have here is for beginners. So as a more advanced pilot, you probably wouldn't even use angle mode or horizon mode. You just arm, be in fully acrobatic mode, and probably have air mode on the whole time as well. All right, thanks, bye.